Problem 8. Points P and Q lie in a plane with PQ as you would at 8. How many locations for point R is in this plane such that the triangle with the vertices PQR forms a right triangle with an area of 12 square units? So let's first draw ourselves PQ, right? This will be PQ. So now we're basically trying to find, you know, how many points are there such that we have this relationship. Well, first of all, how do we find the area of a triangle? The area of a triangle is always half base times height, where base is the base length, a is the height. So right off the bat, right, what, what we can see here is intuition leads us to put R right here, right? Intuition, because we form a right angle here, then PR becomes the height. So conveniently, we can create PR to be some x, such that x times a divided by 2 gives 12, but that's beyond the point. We can always find such an r right here, then, but likewise, we can find an r right here, right? I'll do this in red just to show you. So like if I reflect it over here, right, then that's another one, but then I can reflect the r over here, right? And that would be also a valid solution, and likewise, I can put it here, right? These are just a bunch of reflections. So now that we have all these reflections, then we have right now four possible choices. So let's get rid of a. Now, we might be tempted to put B, but let's first consider it even more. When we think about right triangles, we think about base and height. So basically, we, we made 8 to be our height. I mean, a, a to be our base, or the height, whatever, however way you want to see it. But is there another way such that we can change 8 within this triangle? Because 8 doesn't have to be the hypotenuse, right? It can be, you know, something else. It can be like a regular side length, like a leg. So how do we do that? Well, if we want to make 8, for example, okay, in this case, we made 8 to be the height right? Now let's change it. Let's make A the hypotenuse. How do we do that? Well, if you think of a right triangle with a hypotenuse to be A, the first thing you should think about is a circle. Because when you have a circle, if I were to draw a rough shape right here, right? If you were to have a circle, then any point on that circle, and you connect the lines with these points, it will create a right angle right here and make it a right triangle, which will make 8 our what? It will make 8 our um, hypotenuse. In that case, right, we can always find in this scenario where the height, right, would satisfy the same distance right here with this x. All we did basically with the, with the circle is we shifted this point r to a point on the circle where it would work. Because in this case, what happens? What happens is that the height remains to be x. So x times a divided by 2 would still work. But in this case, it's a unique solution because we made a to be the hypotenuse of this larger right triangle right here. And then likewise, I can move this point all the way over to some point right here. So in other words, if I do it in green, we have another solution here, another solution here. But just like how we can reflect this over, we can also reflect these points over. Because remember, it's a full circle here. So when we draw the second half, which is not poorly drawn, but you get the idea, the R gets reflected over, and this R gets reflected over, right? And these would be all valid solutions. And now, since the height can always be only within this boundary, we have found all the solutions. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 on the bottom side. So by symmetry, 4 times 2 give us 8 total solutions, which is why your final answer is D, not B.